Hey, 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 you guys. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Living Your Best Life. I am Latursa Blakely. And today's topic, we're talking about how to balance your life with tweens. For those of you amazing mompreneurs out there, moms of toddlers, tweens, teenagers, listen, if you don't get some kind of structure in your house, you're going to be all over the place. So today's topic, I hope you're ready for it, how to balance your life, how to just get your life under control. Stay tuned for today's video. So remember, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, make sure that you subscribe, turn on that little bell so you can get the notifications when I upload a new video. So today's topic, we're talking about how to balance your life with tweens. How to just have a balanced life. Because y'all know it really is, I always say it's really no such thing as balance. You just got to find what works for your household and rock with it. So the first tip in order to have balance in your life with tweens, because myself, when I first began this entrepreneurial journey, my, my babies were in diapers and pull-ups. But they are tweens now. My son is 13 and my daughter is 11. So they're big kids now. So... Here's the first thing I like to do. I like I like to have scheduling become a part of my daily routine. I have to have some type of schedule going on in this house because if I don't have my schedule or what I'm supposed to do, I will be all over the place. Comment below if you feel like that. Like if you don't have some type of list or something that you're going to do for the day, you'll be all over the place. Comment below and let me know if that's you too because I'm going to raise both of my hands. That's me. But having some type of schedule or routine will help you to stay organized, help you get things done faster. So make sure if you don't have some type of calendar or some type of notebook or something, Here's the thing, before I go to bed, I used to do this faithfully, but now I'm not even gonna lie, I don't do it every night. But usually, either it's first thing in the morning after prayer and devotion, or it's late at night before I go to bed, say prayers. Um, I try to write down my most top priority things, things that I gotta get done. And I always typically use three categories, personal, family, and business. So if you're a mompreneur like myself, you have three categories. Put down at least three priority things that you must get done in that particular day. And I have a cheat sheet. If I find that cheat sheet, I'm going to leave the link below so that you guys can get a hold of it because it helped me out tremendously when I first started this journey. Because like I said, if you don't have some type of, if you don't set the tone for your day, you will be all over the dang on place. <laughs> Do y'all feel me? So make yourself a schedule and stick to it. And then two, like I said, number two, put yourself on your calendar. Just like you put all your kids' doctor's appointments, your hubby's doctor's appointments, schedules, whatever things else everybody else is doing in the house, make sure you do not forget to put yourself on the calendar. Put yourself on your own calendar. Because here's the thing, you really technically teach people how to to treat you. And if you don't prioritize your life, if you don't take yourself as being a valuable person, nobody else is going to do that either. So you're teaching them how to treat you. So make yourself a priority. Put yourself on your calendar and say, maybe I'll take a walk around the neighborhood or maybe I'll take me a quick nap, power nap. Maybe I'll go out to my favorite restaurant and get my favorite you know, dishes or a dessert. Whatever it is, schedule yourself throughout your week, at least once or twice on your calendar to do something that you love to do. Yes, as wives, as moms, we have so many things we want to do for our family. We want to do things with our hubby. We want to do things with our kiddos. But you got to make sure you're taking some time out for you to put you on your calendar. So put you on your calendar. The third thing that you must do to have balance in your life is meal prep. Get foods that are easily for your kiddos to warm up. If your kids are tweens or teenagers like myself, get foods that they easily can put in the microwave. You know, if you cook like myself, if Sundays I cook a big dinner, say I make baked spaghetti, green beans, or something like that, I make enough to last a couple of days. And then throughout the week, I put them in different containers so that, you know, if I'm working with something or busy, tied up, 
they don't have to wait on me to get something to eat. Or I have like a sandwich meat. I have things that are accessible for them to get where they necessarily don't have to put on the stove. And if you have younger children, you know, when you meal prep, you can put it in those cute little containers. You can put them in, you know, they have the little three sections. Maybe you want to put carrots or something. When my kids were younger, I used to really do that, but I don't do that now because they're older so they can get stuff for themselves. But when you have young ones that can't do that kind of stuff, putting them in those little containers where they can go in the refrigerator and get a fruit cup or something else I used to do. You know, those plastic um, shoe racks, shoe hangers that you can hang on the door. I took those and put those as snack things. If I find the picture, I'm going to upload it here and let you show, let you see how I put different fruit juices, fruit cups, granola bars, chips, cookies, crackers, whatever the thing. I had their names on each, each little cubby hole had like, you know, Ishmael here, Sarah here, mommy here. And when I was home with my parents, I had like granny here, papa here. And it was real fun because all you had to do was just open the door and grab it. So if you got younger babies, that will work out great for you. But now that my kids are older, you know, I don't have to do all that extra stuff, you know. So it pays, you know, the different stages your kids grow and they get older. They can kind of do things for themselves. So that's kind of the phase that I'm in. And I'm loving it because when they were younger, they needed more of my time. Now they're teenagers and tweens and I guess they kind of look at mommy like I'm old. But, you know, I keep trying to tell them, boo, mommy ain't old. Mommy been where you were a time or two, you know, the little stuff you try, mommy already did that, been there, done that. But you know, they, they think cause I'm older now and I'm mommy that, you know, mommy don't know nothing. The little stuff they be trying, you know, kids be, kids are so, so darn cute. They, they, they think you just ain't never been a kid before because they be trying little stuff and even you be looking at them like, <coughs> when are they going to catch on that? I did that before. And then the last and final tip is Allow your kiddos to help you with chores. My kids have been having chores since they were, ooh, toddlers. Like they know how to do their own laundry. They do their own clothes. Right now, my son has his own bathroom. So he he's responsible for cleaning his bathroom up, guest slash bathroom slash guest bathroom. He's responsible for doing that. You know, one week, somebody's on dishes, you know, allow them to help you around the house. And if you're a single mom like me, you need all the help you can get. So when your kids are getting up in age, don't just allow them to sleep, eat and poop, you know, give them some chores around the house, you know, make them work for, you know, they always want stuff. Cause mine's every time we go in the store, I think they think I just hit the lottery yesterday or something. Cause every time we go in the store, they want something. They put, they sneaking stuff in the basket, especially my daughter. She always sneaking something in the basket and then think I ain't gonna realize it, you know, just doing all kinds of stuff. And then the next one is, you know, like I said, allow them to help you around the house. Yes, we are, we can do a lot of things, but don't ever get so proud to ask for help. And you ladies that have are blessed to have a husband at home with you and, you know, talk to them, you know, let them know, babe, I need some help. You know, it's nothing wrong with both of you helping out at the house. Everything I always say is teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. So listen, I hope today's topic helps you to get back on track because we all fall off every now and again. So I hope that you um, allow yourself some grace. And if you hadn't got it up until this point, I hope that this video helps you get back on track. I hope that it blesses you in some type of way. Remember, you are absolutely enough. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if I said something that resonates with you. I love reading you guys' comments. Make sure you comment below this video. Share this with your peeps on your social media platforms. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. God bless. Mwah.